Captain's log date September 27, 1942. The crew's morale has been boosted after sinking our first ship of the patrol and also our first kill on the USS Sailfish. We are currently patrolling approximately 20, 21 nautical miles off of Rabul when we got a radar contact bearing 57 degrees that appears to be stationary. I ordered a head full and we plotted to intercept this interesting anomaly. Hello everybody and welcome back to the bridge of the USS Sailfish. We have encountered a anomaly, I suppose we could call it, on the radar. And it's a ship contact that is not moving whatsoever. Uh, we detected it about 10 minutes ago and I've made a, or adjusted our course to uh, intercept it, or get close to it. I want to see what this guy is. Um, there's no other radar contacts on screen, as far as I know. At least my radar operator hasn't told me of any. So I believe we'll be, we should be in uh, visual range now. Let's see here. Bearing three, two, five. Let's take a look. And yeah, sure enough, there is a ship there. Um, interesting. Okay, it looks pretty big as well. I can't make out what it is, but we are going to go ahead and go to periscope depth quickly before we are detected. He is 9,000 yards away, almost 10,000. So I think we're in okay hands, or uh, we're an okay distance away, especially in uh, this darkness. I think we should be undetected. However, you can never be too careful, as we have learned. Um, it's very easy to get spotted here. All right, and we're going to decrease our speed. We're in no hurry, since he is uh, stationary. We're going to go up to 50 feet so we can uh, get our night periscope up and take a look. This uh, night periscope is coming in very handy. We're using it quite quite a lot actually. Uh, it is much better than the regular attack periscope at night. So about 305. Oh wow that moon is very bright. Let's see. We should uh, light him up pretty easy, nicely. Yep, and indeed, there he is. Wow, that is a very large ship. Can't make out what it is. Sorry about my dog. <laughs> he yawned. He's tired. Yeah. All right. Oh, there he is. He looks like he drifted a little bit from our previous mark, but he still hasn't moved. So let's go ahead and uh, get closer, shall we? He's not moving. I'm not too worried about, uh, maybe his engines broke down or something, I suppose. That is a large ship. Okay. Weird. Maybe it's a trap. It's bait. Submarine bait. Let's see here. No. It's a very, it's pretty long. Oh, and it has that crane in the back. That might be it. Yeah, I think that actually might be it because it has that uh, that back there. Maybe. Uh, let's lock that in for now as we approach. Yeah, there he is. Sure enough. Hello, where'd you go? Oh no. Crap. 3.30. Oh, hello. Okay, weird. Well, let's get really close to him, I suppose. He is drifting. And I don't know what my dog is doing. Weird. Um. <laughs> Alright. This is weird, guys. Yes, sir. Well, we're going to get close to him, I suppose, and uh, just hit him at basically point blank range. Give him very little chance to react to our torpedoes. And let's also lower our scope a little bit. And let's make sure we've identified this correctly. I think we have here. 
because it has this forward uh, cranes and then these cranes in the back. Yeah, that, that is definitely him. Let's lock on to him. Speed's obviously zero. This is strange. I don't know why he's just sitting here, but we're, uh, we're going to take advantage of it. Isn't that right? What do you want, dog? I think he wants to go outside. Oh. Here, I'll let him out once I open my uh, balcony door. There we go. Alright. <laughs> wow, a day in the life. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, shoot him with a stern torpedo. Let's get a general course going. He is drifting, however. I do want to hit him with a stern torp. This is weird. The weather is really flat, so we're going to lower our scope as we uh, maneuver around him. Not picking up on him up on hydrophones. All right. Pretty close to right behind us. Don't really like that uh, angle on the bow, so let's let's try to fix that. just late, wait for him to drift where we want him. Not that I even think there's really a need for that. I don't understand, but we're going to take this shot, obviously. We're not going to pass this up, so let's go ahead and uh, get plugging away. A little shy of 90 degrees. Speed, zero. I'm going to do like Point zero two, I guess, uh, just barely there, but I don't really see. A... Oh, I need to select the stern torpedo too. Don't I? Yeah, it goes right to him. Well, why not? I suppose. Uh, should we shoot one? Let's shoot one first. All right, let's check our torpedo center. There's no even need for that. Speed high, contact. Torpedo depth. Let's see. His draft is 28 feet. Let's do. Let's do like. Let's keep it pretty shallow because of our last experience with the torpedo running deep. Guess this is it. Um. Yeah. Open tube number five, I guess. Now my worry is he's just going to accelerate when he sees our wake, but let's go ahead and fire. If not, we'll deck on him. All right, let's. Here we go. Looks like it's running, hot, straight, and normal. Yeah, let's follow it to its destination. It looks good. <laughs> It'd be kind of hard to miss a stationary target, even for me. But it's moving at a pretty high speed. 
Let's torpedo. there. Now, if he is able to accelerate once he sees this torpedo and get away from it, I'm going to be shocked. If he goes from zero to, you know, ten knots that quickly. I know ships have a tendency in this game to do this, and I think it's ridiculous. It pisses me off every time I see it, but it doesn't look like he spotted our torpedo. And it looks like we might actually get a, sh a hit. Let's see. some good fireworks I think she is done for um, yeah there's the life raft right here my question is what the hell were they thinking just sitting there waiting for me I guess they thought we're in home waters and our objective is now complete uh, sinking Imperial Japanese Navy merchant ships yep conduct anti-shipping operations I think we're going to stick around here though Wow. That is, uh, mighty interesting, I suppose. I don't know why he would, uh, why he would do that, but. Huh. Alright. Oh, and there's the, uh, the life raft. So I'll probably go ahead and keep patrolling here for a little bit longer. Let's see, it looks like she's starting to go down pretty quickly. Well, I think I'm going to make this just a short episode, I guess. Uh, since, I mean, we got action right off the bat. So, uh, anyway, thank you all for watching this. Uh, this is Wolfpack signing off, and I suppose I'll see you guys on the next episode. So, uh, yeah, see you later.